Hi, in these days I decided uh, to change my beta flight rates in order to adapt my drone's rates with my flight style. First, I wanted to visually compare my current curves with uh, new uh, test rate curves on the same chart uh, because I wanted to see the small differences um, between my old curves and the new test uh, curves or other pilots curves uh, before uh, testing uh, them uh, in the air and uh, so I decided to make an Excel um, just to compare different curve settings because on beta flight it's not possible on beta flight you can create uh, uh, profiles different rates profiled in the PID tuning tab but it's not possible to load uh, more than one uh, rate profile on a single chart in order to compare them. But there was a problem. I didn't know the formula that stands behind uh, the um, rates curve of beta flight. So I started searching online and I found this GitHub project made in Python and in uh, HTML and JavaScript. And, uh, this is uh, a very interesting project because uh, you can convert beta flight rates in kiss rates and race flight rates. But that was not my goal. I am not interested uh, in this conversion because uh, I am just a beta flight user for now. But uh, uh, the interesting thing uh, about this page is, was that I mm, could analyze the uh, programming code and found a way to uh, replicate uh, this code uh, creating uh, uh, formulas on Excel. Uh, first of all, in the description you can find a link to this page. You can also find the link to download my file, my uh, Excel file. It is in a zip format. You can download it by clicking on this button. And when you download it, you will find the zip file. You can unzip it and you will get the beta flight rates Excel file. And that's it. First of all, when you open it, um, you have to populate the profiles tab. Oh, here in the manual, you can find the quick info about how to use this Excel, uh, my contacts the link to the other page and another page uh, similar, uh, very interesting. Um, you have the data uh, sheet that uh, you have, uh, that you uh, don't have to modify. Don't modify it because uh, this is our automatically calculated data needed for the charts. As you can see, it's plenty of uh, long formula that took me some hours to, uh, to make. Them. First of all, profiles. In the profiles sheet, you can add as many rates profile as you want. For example, here I inserted the beta flight default with RC rates. One, super rate 0 0.7, no expo for all three axes, roll, pitch, and yo. You can define new uh, rates. For example, here I tested uh, two set of rates. You just uh, write and insert. You can give them a name. You can also insert just one curve if you want to see just one curve in the chart. And then you can insert other pilots' rates. For example, I inserted data about the rates of Johnny FPV, Mr. Steele, and other uh, pilots. There is also an empty profile called known here in gray. Please leave it. It's OK, because uh, you, uh, it's important if you want to compare less than three profiles. When you have inserted your profiles here, you can go to charts and you can select up to three profiles you have to, you want to compare. 
For example, I want to see just one profile. Here I select known because uh, the second set of uh, uh, rates, uh, I don't want to see it. And also the third, I just want to see, for example, Mr. Steel data. Here you can see just two lines because uh, as you can see the Yo uh, is different and the role and pitch are the same. When you choose a pilot, what the um, Excel made here is uh, populate these tell cells automatically, reading from the profiles and generating data on this page. So first insert the data here and then select the pilots here from this list. So I want to see, for example, I told you my test curve. Okay, this is my test curve. Then I want to compare it with beta flight default, for example. Beta flight, just one line. Here it is, because uh, there are three lines, one over the others, because they are all the same. And then here I don't want to see the third, and so I select none, but if I wanted to see another set, I could easily select, for example, join FPV curves. Okay, uh, let me show a, um, another case. Sometimes, uh, let me show, for example, Mr. Steele, uh, here, Mr. Steele, no, Mr. Steele, yeah, and, oh no, Le Drib, Drew Camden, here you can see three lines because he used roll and pitch difference. For example, uh, let me show the case uh, when I don't want to go to the pilots and add another test free with uh, data here 0 0.5 0 0.3 I don't want because it's just a test I want to test directly here so I can use this space the third one the third set of rate is the only one that I can populate here and not here here you don't have to select nothing you just insert a new line for example, I can insert um, a new test line. I just want to compare my roll line with the, the roll of Drew Camden. Uh, 1.3, a super rate of 0 0.60, an expo of 0 0.1. Oh, yeah. And here you can have a quick way to visually compare different lines. For example, I want it to be more low in the middle, 0 0.3. Yes, but I want more expo super rate in the end, 0 0.7. Yes, okay, this is similar to Drew Camden in the end, but it, it is flat in the middle this is a quick way so i can add the pitch is the same for me because i like to use pitch and roll equal and then i use a different curve for the yaw for example uh, let me do a, an exaggeration uh, 1.7 0 0.3 Expo 0.1. Okay, this is a quick tool to insert. So I decide that this is my uh, definitive uh, new line. I can take these values and insert them here. Okay, uh, 1.3, 0 0.7, 1 1.3, 0 0.7. 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.
and for yo 1.7 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.1 well test free my new lines test free okay test free here it is test free yeah here it is my new test line so I, if I want to see just this line here it is so summary here is uh, the manual with uh, quick information about how to use it, my contacts, other interesting links, data, the sheet you don't have to modify, profiles, this is uh, a database when you can store all the profiles you want to uh, compare or just store, and then charts when you can visually compare different settings. Okay. I hope this video helped you. Um, uh, if you liked uh, it, uh, add a like on YouTube and goodbye.